This tutorial will describe the anatomy or different parts of a scholarly article. By the end of the tutorial, you should be able to quickly determine if an article is scholarly or not. Reading a scholarly article can seem overwhelming at first. Scholarly articles are often long and contain a lot of data and vocabulary you may not understand. But if you break down the article into parts, it will make things much easier. Here are a few suggestions before we get started. Read the abstract first. This should give you a complete overview of the article. Skim the article to get a sense of the sections and general contents. Read the introduction and then skip to the conclusion or discussion section. This will help you get an overall sense of the article and whether or not it is relevant to your research. If the article looks like it will be useful, then read the entire article carefully. Now on to the different parts of the article. One of the first things you will see is the journal citation. This information about the article includes the journal title, volume, issue, and page numbers and is usually on the first page. You will need this information to cite the article correctly in your paper. Scholarly articles are generally long, so looking at the number of pages is one indicator that it is scholarly. You'll also see that the author is usually affiliated with a university, hospital, or research institution. Many, but not all, scholarly articles will have an abstract or summary. An abstract will tell you about why the study was done, the methodology used, and how the authors think it adds to research in the field. The abstract is always at the beginning of the article and will either be labeled abstract or will be set apart from the rest of the article by a different font or margins. Some articles will also provide keywords or terms that describe the content of the article. Most articles will start with an introduction. This section introduces the author's research and indicates why the research is important. Authors will, will usually do a literature review at the beginning of the article, although it may not be, always be labeled this way. This section of an article is a summary or analysis of all the research the authors read before doing their own research. It provides the background on who has done related studies, what that research has or has not uncovered, and how the current research contributes to the conversation on the topic. The literature review is also a good place to find other sources you may want to read on this topic to help you get the bigger picture. You will also notice throughout the text of the article that the author cites the sources he or she uses. These are often referred to as parenthetical citations, and they serve as a model for how you should format your own paper. You will very rarely see in-text citations in a popular article, so this is often a quick indicator that will help you determine if an article is scholarly or not. Scholarly articles are written for people in the profession, so you will see a lot of specialized vocabulary in the article. If you look through the article, you can sometimes find additional terms that you can use to help refine your search. The methodology section or methods section tells you how the authors went about doing their research. The methodology section should be detailed enough that another researcher could replicate the study described. When you read through the methodology section, think about the following. Was the method appropriate for the type of study done? How were the test subjects recruited? Is there anything about the study's context that could have affected the results? Did the sample size adequately re represent the larger population? Does the author address any limitations of the study? The results or findings section in a scholarly article is where the authors talk about what they found in their research study. Research articles are full of data. Tables, graphs, and charts are good and indicators that this is a research article. And the discussion section is where the authors write about what they found and what they think it means. The authors may also draw some conclusions about the research and what significance it has in this section. This section will also tell you what some of the issues were with the research or using a specific population for a research study. At the end of a scholarly article, you will find a list of the works cited by the authors. This list is called a reference list, work cited, or bibliography. In scholarly articles, this list will generally be quite long and include articles, books, and other resources. When you look at the references, take a look at the dates of the articles and books listed. Are they recent? Does the list include a good mix of both current and older articles? To quickly determine whether an article is likely to be scholarly, use this checklist. 
You can usually tell pretty quickly what the, pa what the page length of the article is. If it's less than six pages, be sure to take a closer look. Scholarly articles are usually quite long. If in doubt, scroll to the end of the article and see if it has a substantial list of references or works cited. No scholarly article will be without one. If the authors cite their sources throughout the text, this is a good indicator that the article is scholarly. Check out the author's affiliations. Do they work at a university, research institution, or hospital? This adds to their credibility. Most popular articles are written for the general public and use easy-to-understand vocabulary. Scholarly articles, on the other hand, are written for other experts in the field and may contain terminology you're not familiar with. Be sure to have a dictionary handy if you're stumped by the vocabulary used in the article. If in doubt, always remember that you can ask a librarian for assistance. Just go to the library homepage at www.fresnostate.edu forward slash library and click on Ask Us. There you can find out how to contact a librarian using instant message, text, email, phone at the Start Here desk at the, on the first floor of the library or make an appointment.